Hello, in this tutorial we will be covering right click axis and how to use ball socket line draw and axis line draw which are custom tools they do not cut they do not come with Gary's mod but uh, the axis tool does so first the axis tool right click it is very very useful it has two different ways of doing something you can make a prop revolve around a prop or make a remote axis which is like a normal axis except uh, from a distance so uh, let's try the revolving thing it's very important in the order you do it and that you right click so uh, say you want to make this chair revolve around this uh, washing machine here so what we'll do is we'll just uh, we'll uh, right click the chair and then on here we will right click the top of it right there and now it should revolve around it except for the wheel in the way fucking faggot wheel there's one use this can be very useful for uh, reducing the amount of props and maybe you don't have to make an arm that extends out to that chair so second way is a remote axis which is the most useful it's very useful for wheels what you do is you right click anywhere on the, the base prop in this instance it'll be the laundry machine and then to the center of the wheel right there now you see it spins on that axis it's very useful for cars like I have over here say you got a vehicle and you can't attach the wheels to the base so what we do instead of making a separate prop just right click the base in the center of the wheel very simple it's very very useful I use it all the damn time and that covers that and now for a axis and ball socket line draw. What these tools do is they create a line, say you click one side, then the other, it will create a ball socket or axis in the middle of that line. So, let's do ball socket line draw here. By the way, this is not Gary's Mod default tool. So, refer back to this as our base prop. And let's say we want to make this uh, washing or vending machine spin on an axis right in the middle I'm sorry a ball socket so we'll select the props yeah like you uh, like it has like it's on normal props but then also and then I'm uh, sorry it was vendetta we'll click one side of the prop mm. and the next and now there should be a ball socket in the center this is very useful for a mousing Shit. I'm sorry, I have to mute him now. So there, so useful for mouse aim shit or whatever, couple it with advanced ball socket, which I'll cover in another tutorial. So, uh, you don't have to do it in the center, you can do it anywhere on a prop. You can do it, uh, up at the top. This creates a ball socket between that line you drew on each side. So now for axis line draw, which is useful for props that do not have flat edges. Let's say this pipe. Let's say we want it to uh, move up and down. And uh, we can't do that because the side is not flat. So what we'll do is we'll take axis line draw tool, select the first prop and the second prop, and now we we'll go to this to the side of it here and click twice. One, two, and then on the other side, click twice again. You know, it's also dependent on the snap point. In this case this prop doesn't have a snap point, so I'm just guessing. And then we'll click once more. As you look up in the upper left, it'll say validate. And we'll validate it. And now the prop will spin on an axis there. Again, this is very useful for props that do not have flat sides. So uh, just go on Gary'sMod.org and look up line draw, and they uh, the tool tools come together.